In my opinion, this is one of the best paint jobs and bolt-on sets that PGI has ever delivered. Ladies and gentlemen, the Otomo Catapult. Hi friends, I'm TTB. Welcome back to German Engineering. Today we're going to be using the Otomo version Catapult in a AC and light PPC configuration that I haven't tried yet and that I wanted to see how good it can actually work. It should be a lot of fun and we will be looking extremely good as we're doing it. Let's go! Why is he shooting from up top? Nice no, shooting from up top. Target spotted. How many snipers? Target spotted. Target acquired. New target acquired. Once again, we're solo against the assault mech. Team just was hit a potato further. Okay, no. Guess I'm not fighting anymore then. Because I can't win the trade against the assault. There's an Atlas coming. Alright. New target. Target Still focused on me for some reason? Maybe because you didn't see anybody else. That's okay, can I go around this and stay high? Dangerous. New target acquired. New target acquired. Time to run and quickly. New target acquired. To go through that rough neck. Whatever that is. That thing again. Must be nice to not have to look anywhere else. Critical damage. Auto cannon destroyed. Target acquired. New target acquired. And it was big CT. Target acquired. It's also one shot. Target destroyed. Nice. Auto cannon ammo at 25%. Left torso destroyed. Yeah, light engine was definitely the play. Otherwise, uh, it gave us like a little bit more shots. Right? Three kills, solo kills, seven on damage, four seventy one taken, and the vehicle. Not a bad result. In fact, that's top damage on my team. Four sixty one match score. GG. Hmm. 
course nobody's shooting the UAV, unfortunately. Let's move through. Yep. Move through. Yep, UV is done. Took a bit, but it's down, so that's good. Mm. Now we have a Fafnir here. Okay. Nice Adi. Two or three hits on me. Say hi to Lady Luck for me. Baby don't have jump jets. Wonder if joining the rotator potato would have been better. But uh, we'll see that in a second. I just don't know if that's Timby is still up here. That's not a Timby. Target spotted. I think it's a little bit bigger. Target spotted. Target spotted. Target spotted. Rip. Well, I only helped to detect on a hunter tunnel, but the problem is we're still far behind, so I need to make something happen here and fast. Target acquired. New target acquired. The battle master isn't looking so hot. Target destroyed. Mm hmm. Target acquired. Alright, it's two assaults done. Fuck, almost had him. Three assaults done. Oh, almost had him. Vipers want us to sit here. Light my grand front of me here. Oh, it's coming. Oh, of course it doesn't hit. Ah, and I fell down. That's bad. Oh god. Rip. Well, how many assault mechs did I clean up? Three assault mechs and the fourth almost. Not a bad round for us. Ah, that's not looking good for us. There's another assault mech. <laughs> oh god, he's got a hodgepodge build. A rack 2, a rack 5, and two large pulses. Uh, two large X pulses. Ay, ay, ay. Dino in chat is asking, what the fuck are the rest doing other than dying? Well, uh, that is the age-old question. <laughs> Needs to be asked sometimes. That is, uh, I think, a Rack 5 Warhammer. Nice. I mean, we were able to pull it back at least so it wasn't a complete stomp. But, um, yeah. Uh, me falling down there was bad, unfortunately. I couldn't get out of that spot anymore. Could have done more if I didn't fall down there. Three kills at 720. Five components.
Yeah, the no, assaults were basically completely ineffective, unfortunately, with the exception of the Atlas. GG. But I would say that was quite a bit of solid performance out of our Catapult K2 Otomo version. Now, guys, by the way, if you would like me to make a video about the Otomo mech pack and go really in-depth about all the different mechs in there, as well as some really, really good builds for each of these mechs, let me know in the comment section. If you don't find a comment on the Otomo pack and TTB making a guide for that, go ahead, write that comment. If you see that comment, give it a thumbs up. And if we get, I don't know, 50 thumbs up for that comment, then I will make an in-depth build guide for all the Otomo mechs. If you guys want that, this is how we'll get it. Okay, let's talk about the build, guys. We have a light engine 265. That's a little bit different from the video. The video had a 275 uh, light engine. So we're going about 4k pH slower now, but we have an extra double heatsink and an extra ton of ammo. So it should all balance out in the end. An AC-10 in each side torso, a light PPC in each side torso, four tons of AC-10 ammo. We are shaving the legs a tiny bit. We are shaving the arms quite a bit. Endo steel structure, light ferro fibers, and a double heatsinks. In the quirk department, let's have a quick look right here, because two AC-10s and two light PPCs are not that much firepower for a 65-tonner, but we're getting 20% velocity on our ACs, 20% velocity on our PPCs, 10% flat heat, 5% on top PPC heat generation, and 10% range, plus some extra structure quirks from the catapult. So all in all, a nice little package. Um, if, it just, if there was some cooldown involved, it would be even better. Um, I like the fact that we have velocity, though, that makes it easier to hit with the AC-10s and with the light PPCs, and they have fairly similar speeds and fairly similar ranges, so at about 500, 600 meters, you can do some good damage with this. It is a little bit out there, guys, of course, but um, hey, just try it out and let me know how it goes for you, right? And I mean, take a second here to appreciate this gorgeous paint job. This is art. This is a paint job that I myself would be willing to pay money for. And that's the reason why I think a lot of you guys have already bought the Otomo pack. It is just insane style. And of course, those bold ones right here just look super cool. They don't do anything. This is just purely cosmetic, but it looks super cool. And I like this style with like the, the gold application and whatnot. It looks, it looks amazing. And of course, you can, you can color it to your heart's content, right? Main color as well as, of course, the uh, color of the dragons and the like sakura blossoms and whatnot. Beautiful. Looks amazing. I love it. Nah, just don't make the make green. That looks weird. But this works. This looks nice. A little bit green metallic. <laughs> In any case, let's talk about, let's talk about talking about the Fashion Warrior. Uh, real quick about the build. As you can see, the weapons are fairly close together and about cockpit height. So whatever you can see, you can shoot. And uh, since it is fairly close to the cockpit on the sides, it also means that they don't have to clear that much ground on left or right to be able to shoot targets and not hit into walls. So that is really, really nice to have as well. The only downside of this build is that, of course, you won't have any arm mounted weapons. So um, you won't be spew spewing uh, PPCs or whatnot from these arm mounts, unfortunately. But that's okay. Um, that makes it a little bit more on the brawly side. And that is a okay for catapults. Catapults like to brawl, believe it or not. Try it out. Let me know how it goes for you. I had a lot of fun playing the Otomo builds, and there were definitely some standout performances in there. So we'll go through them throughout the rest of the uh, year, of course, as I start weaving those builds into the German engineering episodes as well. So don't be afraid. There will be more of these gorgeous mechs. Thank you so much at this point to all my amazing supporters. Guys, I literally couldn't do this without you. And if you were there, are not a supporter yet and would like to help out as well and say thank you for the videos, then please have a look at the video description. You will find links to all my hardware that you can buy on Amazon, as well as my link to my Patreon plus my merch store. And you can, of course, become a channel member right here on YouTube or send a super thanks, whatever works best for you. Thank you very much.